How's it going people, it's for Tech Hitler's only video and yes I have been late in uploading videos since so and my mother wrote all this photograph on my wallpaper as because I really I'm really a great fan of Cristiano Ronaldo so this video is all about the 0x70007B error that generally is happening with a lot of you guys and I promised to make a video on that so I'm gonna be showing you how you can fix that error in complete 11 or 10 ways uh, I mean that generally occurs in Windows 7, 8, 1, 8 to 10 so with that being said let's get started so first of all there are a few things you need to do first of all any other thing that you're working around for example if the discord or whatever your game is not working for example if i go to csgo uh not csgo uh, for example the search Evil 6 it's not working what you can do is to go on to properties and try out the compatibility troubleshooter uh, I mean the most of all which has been working around is to try it on Windows XP Service Pack 3 this is the most solution perfect solution that generally helps off the issue so make sure to try this because this generally helps all the users to solve the issue up so I think that will work around with you the next solution would be to run the program as an administrator uh, you can just simply right click and click on run as administrator that's going to force the program to run as admin pr pr uh, I mean permissions or what you can do is to go onto compatibility and click on this run this program as an administrator and apply ok and that's going to solve the issue if you are having with that another thing you can do is to try out reinstalling the program for example there's some files of it could be corrupted or there are few things that could not run so what you can do is to try out installing it and then reinstalling the program again that could help you out of the issues the next thing which you can do is to check error on the folding disk that you're facing errors with so for example if you have i mean epic games launcher installed in local disk c so what you can do is to go on to its properties go to tools and click on error checking and click on check that's gonna scan the whole drive and gonna show you with any of the things that gonna take places so it would be inside the drive though the next thing is to manage of permissions because permissions they generally do a lot of issues so what you can do is to go on to local to see right click on it go to properties from here you need to go to sharing and from sharing go to uh, not need to go to sharing just go to security uh, property security and from here you need to click on edit and also for authenticated user for example for as I'm an administrator I'm using full control for example if in your administrator is not full, uh, full control is not allowed then you can allow it that's gonna help you a lot I'm gonna cancel it for now because I really don't wanna F up with my permissions or anything else so let's go around and I'm gonna cancel this so that's not going to apply anything further. Further, the another thing, another thing would be to reinstall or maybe reinstall your X input file. Okay. So the general problem that you're facing could be caused by the corrupted X input. That's Xbox input. You can say most of the people say so, but that's uh, generally the X3D that is uh, supplied with DirectX. So you can reinstall DirectX or you can download this file given below in description according to your system. I'm going to extract the file here. Uh, before extracting, there one more thing you need to do: just right-click on the file, go to Properties, make sure that you unblock it, extract files, and from here you need to open this, and that's going to give you the DLL. Copy this, go to your this PC, go to local disk C, and from here you need to go to Windows. And if your system is system, th I mean 32 bit, then you need to go to System 32. Just simply go inside it, and once you're inside, just paste the file, and that's going to replace it. I'm going to replace it mine too just in case you finna see and you see there are all four files that related to X input and that's replaced because there are DirectX which already installed them and if in case your system is 64 bit then you need to go to sys ww64 and that's gonna open the same folder just like you're having in system 32 but that for 64 bit so paste it replace it and that's gonna do the work and you just restart your system you can register them but there's no need to because they're already registered just by restarting your system that's gonna solve the issue coming to the next step a uh, step called SFC scan now that's gonna help for searching around your PC and figuring out what files are corrupted how you can do that is to open up run and type in CMD that's gonna open up command prompt and from here or you can simply go over to because in Windows 10 they have removed the we, uh, I mean the command prompt from my administrator so you can go to this PC go to local disk C go to Windows and from here you can switch to system 32 and shift click right shift right click here open partial or oh, that's saying so so you can simply go into CMD CLS and let's say C 
Oops. I merely bought the pipe. Just remove it. Sorry. That's already. I mean, that's already the system with C drive. So let's copy this. I'm gonna remove this. And okay. So now you are here with administrator rights. So once you're here, you just need to type in SFC slash SCN and I merely do not spell them correctly and I knew it. You can try out the PowerShell I think. I'm gonna try out the PowerShell for now. PowerShell take a bit time of loading so make sure that you wait for it for a while. Okay. So once you're here you need to type in SFC scan just SFC space slash scan now. And that's gonna start off by working around with a few things and We'll begin this, uh, I mean, scanning of your system, scanning for the corrupt files and gonna verify all. So that's gonna depend upon the size and the allocation of your system drive. I'm gonna cancel it because I really don't need it now. Coming to the next, what you can do is to reboot your system in safe mode by simply restarting it and pressing F8 and then trying out. What you can do more is to go over and install your software again using safe mode. Coming to the ninth step, you're having install Visual C++. And most of you guys know that Visual C++ is a really important so software, so just simply press on VC++ and that's going to give you the latest supported Visual C++ downloads from the Microsoft website. You can go there and hover over uh, match your system settings and see around, I mean, which Visual Studio or Studio package you do need. So just in case if you have not having this, download the latest version that is Visual Studio 2017 one and that's gonna take a just mere fractions of time and gonna solve the issue for you the next thing what you can do is to replace the visual c++ dlls i'm having it right here you need to unblock it once you have downloaded it from given below in description and simply extract the files and that's gonna give you the old ideas that are included in the microsoft visual c++ so here are the few things you need to do just copy these files go to this pc here and few more uh, you could not I mean could not replace them right now I don't think so but if you can that's gonna help you a lot but just in case you need to reboot this in your safe mode and replace the file uh, I mean given will in description but that won't work I do think so uh, it's working I think nope I know that really won't work you need to reboot your system in the safe mode then only you could replace these files and same applies for the 64-bit users you can go to sysy.64 and paste it out here you need to for rebooting into safe mode just restart your pc and press f8 okay so the next thing we can do and the last thing what we can do is using windows update uh, that's the worst choice but that helps us sometime just simply go over to windows update you can go to settings maximize it and from here you need to go to update and security and from here I merely close my update because I hate it so you can click on check for updates and that's gonna check for updates I really have closed the service of updates so I really don't want it because there are a few updates that are automatic updated I now download offline updates and else and also with that I have the Windows Defender working around so that's going to be it for today. If you have any problem related to any of these, you didn't understand anything, you can just ask me down below in comments. And I do think I have started a Discord server that's given below in the description, so you can check that out too. So make sure to like and subscribe to Strutzy Tech. I'm signing out.